sure do. Lots of friends, and today is American Girl. That's the new American Girl theme song. Who's our American Girl tonight? Our American Girl doll tonight is Lanny Holland. Okay, so she loves exploring the outdoors, but her family seems to prefer the indoors mm -hmm. until her Aunt Hannah comes to stay with them. Lanny is a 10-year-old girl living in Cambridge, Massachusetts, depicted as having an affinity for science and biology, and she considers herself a scientist. She dreams of studying and saving wildlife in such exotic and important habitats as the Indonesian rainforest and the African savannas. Wait a minute. Did you say Aunt Hannah? Aunt Hannah, yes. Wait, is she related to Jack Hannah? I don't know. The, the crocodile oh, the guy? Crocodile. Yes. Yeah, I bet too. she is. Yes. Aunt Hannah, I Jack know. Hannah. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yes, okay. Good so, sorry, sorry. So, Lanny keeps her own journal with factoids and notes of the animals. So, tonight, mm -hmm. we're going to go on an African safari. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our dolls are already prepped for the trip. All right. They have their safari vest, the safari hats, and they their do. binoculars. They do. So right. I'm going to show you how to make your own safari hats, vest, and binoculars. And the deal is, if you want, you can come into the library or call for park and pickup, and we can bring the materials out to you. Or you can just scrounge around and see what you have at home and do it. Um, or you, and this is on, you know, this is saved forever. So you can go back and watch it. You know what I mean? The show. Right. And uh, the thing is, it, it's free. So that's kind of cool. Or you can scrounge around at home. You might have this stuff at home. But you that's do need true. a paper bag. Right. Yeah. So to start out with, we're going to make... Our African safari hat. Nice. Okay, so this one's a completed one. Okay. I'm going to make one or start one for for Miss Judy here. Okay. So all what you need, this is a, a paper plate. Cut the center out. Okay. And this is a paper bowl. Okay. So, and you want to color this, the camouflage, with, with the greens and browns. You can make stems. You can make make leaves on, on here. So... And, and then afterwards, you'll staple them together. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, and we'll draw, we'll draw a nice little stem coming up here and branch off. And then I'm going to leave Miss Judy continue on. All right. Have any of you, have either of you been to the continent of Africa? Any no, country? I have not. No? Miss Judy was in Thailand. Oh, Vietnam. Yes, oh, Vietnam, Vietnam. Vietnam. Mm -hmm. That's on the continent of Asia, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I've been to Africa. You have? I have. What I've been to the, the country of South Africa. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Wow. I've been there. We didn't, uh, we saw a lizard. Yeah, that was it. We didn't go on any safaris. We just went to malls and libraries. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Well, but it was really fun. fun. It was a good time. It was a yeah. good time. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it was. Okay. But anyway, it really wasn't. It was right after apartheid and it was still a deplorable place to be uh, for, for the minorities. And it was, it was a bit hard, but um, uh, yeah, it was, it wasn't very cool, but we're going to Zimbabwe. We're going to Zimbabwe. Yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You're going to make a pair of binoculars. Okay. So in order to do this, I have, it's just a piece of brown paper, okay? It's actually from a brown paper bag. Okay. It is half the length of a brown paper bag. And that's for us. For the dolls, I used one-fourth of oh. the length of a paper bag. That's cool. So this is... You made that into okay. that. Yes, I made that. How? So all what you're going to do, at the halfway point, I drew a line about one inch away from that solid line. All I right. made a dotted line. Cool. And then all what you're going to do is you're going to roll this up. You need to leave it large enough 
so that you can see through it. All right. When you get to that half line or the dotted line, you want to tape it. You're going to stop rolling. You want to tape it because you need just a little bit of space in between your eyes. So I'm going to take two pieces. Of if you tape. have one eye that's significantly larger than the other <laughs> eye, can you just... Uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. All right. Okay. I just didn't know. Okay. So... Now, and the other thing, too, is, and I did bring, you know, if you have toilet paper roll. What if you, you have can three use eyes? Toilet paper roll. Okay. Or you can use a paper towel roll. Right. And cut it in half. Or if you, you have one eye that's that really small, you could use turtle. a straw. I didn't hear you, but it works for me. Okay. So, okay. Uh -huh. So, I'm rolling that second one. And just tape it now. If you have a small stapler, you can staple this together. And there you know, it is. There you have your Yay. binoculars. Now okay. this is the really complicated thing. No, it's not complicated. It looks so, really complicated. So you might, it would be the same. You do the same thing for the the doll's binoculars. No, now, but I mean this coming up here. No, this is the safari vest. Yeah. Now this is the complete really hard. one. Okay. Okay. All and. Right. What I did was, from the paper bag, I drew a line up the center, okay. okay, made a little curve for the neckline. All right, cool, cool. And then continued the curve here. Now, you don't want to cut all the way to the back of the bag and see where it's attached here. You don't want to, to cut through that. Right, right, okay. okay. So, with the scissors, I'm going to take it. And you just cut the one side. Right up the center. Okay. I'm going to cut around. It doesn't have to be perfect. What if you have three arms? That might be a problem. Okay. What if there's an octopus watching this show and they would like a mess? An octopus. That's eight arms. That would be difficult. I think you would need a couple of extra bags. Maybe one of those big giant leaf bags. Yes. All right. That so that's okay. Work. It can be done. That would work. So. And by the time this is, they're probably on sale. <laughs> so now that's for your head. Nice. In the front of the, the safari bag. Now the side I had, this arm hole is cut out. On this side, right where the bag creases, yes, I drew a right line. There. We're going to okay. cut that square out. So I'm just going to poke a hole. If you have a big, giant, arm-shaped hole punch at home, you Do could get out your arm work. hole punch. Now, if you have a big one, I'm saying that has like a... Like it's made for punching out armholes. I don't know anybody who does. I don't, but we have a wide audience from all over the world. That's true. And so, probably other worlds. So, now, that is the safari vest for, would, would be for you, for Miss Judy and I. Also, now, if you wanted to do a play of Robert Munch's Paper Bag Princess, you could do that too. That would work. Yeah. Now, what I also included in your packet, this is a regular lunch bag. Yeah, and this okay. can be picked up at the library if you want. Just and come in I and cut, ask for the American Girl packet. I cut two inches off the bottom. Now, this one I didn't mark, but you're going to do the exact same thing yeah. for the large one as the small one. You're going to cut, cut up the center, do your little neck hole, and then on the sides here, cut out the arm holes. Now, what we did find, yes, you need to be careful putting it on your doll. Oh, because, yeah, look at that. And we, we raised the doll's arms up in order to, to put the vest on. Okay, okay, cool. So, Miss Judy and I are going to Judy see in disguise. about going oh, no, on our trip. So, we're going to get get our vests and our hats on. With glasses. And we're going we're gonna to staple staple that and then add a nice piece job of miss judy oh thank you miss ang thank you that's nice do any of you guys remember that song nancy with the laughing face 
I never heard of that. It was Frank Sinatra. I just did it twice. I don't know if you want to do it more. That's okay. That's good enough. So, and oh, for the safari hat, what we did, you know, so that we wouldn't lose the hat, we tied, after I put it on, I tied a little knot. Nice, On the nice. bottom here. Yeah. To hold that. So, let's take, we'll take a little break. All right, we'll be back. We'll get ourselves ready, and we'll be ready to fly. Okay, but how can you fly without a ticket? We have our... Nice, uh, nice. To to, um, Zimbabwe. And don't forget your passport. Don't forget your passport. Okay, you must have your, your passport. passport. Yes. You have your passport. Yes. You have your passport. Yes. You your passport. And you probably should take malaria pills. I probably. had to. You had to for Vietnam? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All right, my friends, we'll be back. Thank you. Eileen, Judy, where are you? We're right here. Where are you? Oh, you're camouflaged. I couldn't see you. And we're ready. We have our yeah. airplane we ticket. We have our airplane ticket. All right, tickets Judy, ready. you have yours. And we have our passport. Eileen has her passport. You don't, do you need a visa to travel to Zimbabwe? I don't think so. No, All right, good, so. good, good. So. Do you need to do it in imaginary world? No. I know. All right, cool. Okay. Awesome, yay! So, so we're ready to for we're safari. Ready for safari. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Did you guys put your plane tickets on a credit card? Or like did you did you just pay cash? They're I on mean, the line. They're on the line. They're on the All line. right, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. That's good. Good, just, good. Just don't tell the boss. All right, so you're going you're going to Zimbabwe. To Zimbabwe and, and an African Safari. All right, so let's get in the car and go to the airport. I'll drive you. Okay. okay. And then, okay. All right, here we are at the airport. And, and, and I have to drop you off, like, because I don't have a ticket or anything. And plus, I'm still on the library time. But so I better get back to work. But bye, guys. Have a good time. Bye. See you soon. Yeah, bye. see you soon. Okay. I'm pretty much excited. I mean, I'm so excited. We're in Zimbabwe, Africa. I can't wait for our safari. I know. I know. Oh. Let's go. Miss Judy, look over there. It's a lion. You know, I know I've seen them at the zoo, but this one's not in the cage. Now, lions rest about 20 hours a day. Lion cubs are born with spots. Lions do not purr like house cats. Man-eating lions do exist, so you do want to be careful, especially on safari here. And the other thing I didn't know, lions do not like to swim. Miss Eileen, look over there. There's a leopard. Did you know that leopards can kill prey that's larger than themselves? But leopards, and leopards purr also almost like a cat. Leopards are also excellent swimmers. It stalks its prey rather than chasing it long distances. And a leopard with no spots and a black coat is called a panther. And did you know leopards can jump 10 feet straight up in the air? Wow. Judy, over there, look, it's a giraffe. Now, you know what? Giraffes are the tallest mammals on earth. Their legs alone are taller than many humans, about six feet tall. They can run as fast as 35 miles an hour over short distances or cruise at 10 miles an hour over long distances. A giraffe's neck is too short to reach the ground. As a result, it has to awkwardly spread its front legs or kneel to reach the ground for, for a drink of water. Wow. Giraffes only need to drink once every, every few days. Most of their water comes from the plants that they eat. Giraffes spend most of their lives standing up. They even sleep standing up. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. How about that? Miss Eileen, Miss Eileen, look, there's a zebra. Did you know that every zebra has a unique pattern of black and white stripes? 
or is it white stripes and black stripes? I'm not quite sure. Zebras run from side to side to chase a pre when being chased by a predator, and they have excellent, excellent eyesight and hearing. Also, zebras st uh, sleep standing up also, just like the giraffe. Just like the giraffe. And zebras mostly eat grass. And here's a fun fact I bet you didn't know. The zebra's ears shows its mood. <gasps> so you will know whether or not it's a happy zebra or a sad zebra. Wow. Miss Judy, here's the cheetah over here. It's going to go and get, go run after that zebra if he doesn't move. There are only about 10,000 cheetahs left in the wild. Most of them in Africa. Well, unless you see one in the zoo. Anyway, cheetahs can reach a sprinting speed of 71 miles per hour. They purr, but they can't roar. They usually live for about 12 years. And when a cheetah runs, only one foot touches the ground. Wow. I, didn't know that. I didn't know that. They are not good climbers. So if we, if we get one, buy one, we're climbing we're a tree. Miss Eileen, Miss Eileen, look, there's a mountain gorilla. Did you know that gorillas are like humans? They have five toes on each foot and five fingers on each hand. They can be six foot tall and weigh up to 500 pounds. Gorillas are herbivores, which means they don't eat meat. They eat leaves and berries, plants, fruits, flowers, shrubs, vines, and sometimes small insects. And they can eat up to 50 pounds of food every day. Can wow. you imagine? That's a lot of eating. And their only predator are humans. <gasps> Judy, I see a rhinoceros over there. South Africa is home to more than 80% of Africans' rhino population. Rhinos have three toes on each foot. A group of rhinos is called a crash. Not really sure why they got that name. But a charging rhino can reach speeds of 35 miles per hour. And just like, what did you just say? What did we just see? The, the mountain gorilla. The mountain gorilla. Man is rhino's own nat only natural predator. Miss Eileen, look over there. There's the African elephant. Did you know that they use their trunk as a snorkel when swimming? And they wave their trunks up in the air from side to side to smell better. I thought they would have used their ears and their nose, but their trunk is their, their smell. Their skin is an inch thick. Wow. But they do flap their ears to keep cool. And they spend 16 to 18 hours per day eating. My kind of animal. <laughs> and their tusks grow throughout their lives. Miss Judy, we have to be careful. Look, there's a crocodile over there. Now, did you know crocodiles have been around for 200 million years, outwitting the dinosaurs? Only large crocodiles, 10 feet and over, will attempt to attack humans. The now crocodile has green eyes. Now, Crocodiles can hold their breath for two hours. Now, you know, that's a scary thought because if they're in the water, you don't have a prayer of a chance of surviving. Wow. Miss Eileen, look over there. There's a hippo. Did you know that hippos secrete a natural sunscreen? So they don't have to worry about anybody putting sunscreen on their, on their skin. And their closest living relative is a whale. A whale? I never knew that. Hippos consume over 100 pounds of vegetation per day. Wow, that's a and lot. And here's an interesting fact. Hippos can't jump. Well, I'm kind of glad for as much as they weigh. But and did you know what else, lady? Excuse me, I, I, I'm on safari with you. I, you know, I'm in your group. I also wanted you to know that whales can't jump either. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just so but you know. But here you go, Miss Eileen. We never have to worry about the crocodiles when the hippos are around because hippos regularly kill the crocodiles. Oh, I feel so much better knowing that.
fantastic. Fabulous. Did you see lions and tigers and bears? We saw lions and cheetahs and hippos and, and zebras. And oh my gosh! And gorillas and crocodiles. That's so cool. I'm so glad oh you guys had a good time. Oh, it was fabulous. Oh, thank you for taking us on another American Girl adventure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And who's the next? American Girl. Next month is going to be Josefina Montoya. All right, we're going to check out Ms. Montoya next month. But thanks for